Korogocho is one of the largest slums in Nairobi, sitting on 1.5 square kilometers, but home to about 200,000 people. It is a densely populated area. This semblance of normalcy to the casual eye is oblivious to the menace of sodomy that male children are submitted to, ironically, at the hands of those they trust the most. Joseph Not, his real name, was only eight years old when he suffered the brutality of sodomy from his father. The 11-year-old says the ugly scenes have completely changed his life. Jaden and Jackson are brothers and their nightmare began when their parents separated. Things then grew from bad to worse as their father turned from a caregiver to a tormentor. Though he threatened them against disclosing their ordeal, it wasn't long before the consequences of the brutality came to the fore. Johanna's case could perhaps be different if he wasn't an orphan. When his father died, his mother remarried, and when she also died, his tender age of six did not deter his stepfather from committing the heinous act. Niko nasiya kutoroka, lakini niki toroka, ana nikujia. Misi kwa nenda cho, nikienda cho, na nasiya uchungu kunyoma, kukuonya na kumi adamu, siski poa. Baka ikafika pali ni kakuwa mgonjwa sana. After their torment, the four boys found a safe haven at a rescue center whose owner sounds frustrated by the families of the victims. The children officers don't get the chance to know these cases because they are corrupted from down, you know. A case happens and uh, parents agree with the perpetrator. Or if it's the parent, the child is told, shut up, if you say that's wrong and all, and then the, the children even start feeling guilty. The quest for justice that you would have seen the culprit locked in for 14 years has also been a long and arduous journey. Evidence and everything is disrupted from the grassroots. So the cases are high and others when you follow up, the children are transferred and taken to unknown places. For now, this has become their home, away from their ordeal home, till justice is served. The one question that children housed in this rescue center that ask themselves is why, why do they have to be victims of violence they little know of. They hope that things will change for the next generations. Purity Museo Channel 1 News, Nairobi.